is like the ugliest thing you've ever seen. Today we're going to start with my hair. Oh, and by the way, we're doing a chit chat. Get ready with me today, just in case you didn't know. Today I'm going to do fun things. I have decided that I wanted to do. Oh, I'm gonna kind out of breath. Today I'm going to do another chit chat. Get ready with me. And I have decided I'm going to do these every single Monday because I just want to post more and you seem to like these kinds of videos so I'm just going to be doing a video every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. So now you know. Every single week or every single Monday I'm going to be asking you on Twitter to like send me some topics you want me to talk about. So today a girl on Twitter asked me if I could talk more about like positivity and how to be positive so that's what we're doing today and also just you know random shit because that's what we always do yeah yeah Did I do something different today just to, to spice things up I think yes I'm just not in the mood why am I doing this how do you become more positive and just live in life because that's what we always do right right so my tips for you let's get started my number one tip Surround yourself with people that you like to be surrounded with. If you have some friends that you don't like, tell them to fuck off. Don't tell them to fuck off, but just leave them, so, you know. Lately, I've been so obsessed with, like, space and the universe and just, you know, things. So this got me thinking. Time does not exist. Like, time is an illusion. Time is created by humans, so time does not exist. Only aging exists. So that is why we gotta think beyond time. I don't know what I'm saying, but what I'm saying is that you only have a limited amount of time here on earth. Why not spend every single moment on exactly what you want? What I'm saying is, if you don't like your friends, don't hang out with them and only put the time into what you want to put the time in. <laughs> That's what I always say. And it's true. If you don't want to do something, don't do it. The same goes for school. If you gotta, like, even if you don't feel like doing your homework, don't do your homework. Find inspiration to do your homework and your homework is going to be a lot more fun and turn out a lot better. I'm kind of off subject right now, but to be happy, you gotta do what you want in every single moment. Never live your life according to someone else's rules and never do something just because someone else wants you to do it. So only do your own thing. That's my number one tip and that's what I was doing when I was at my best. I'm not feeling like that anymore, which is kind of sad because that was the best feeling I've ever felt, but I feel amazing right now and I feel a new kind of amazing. I feel like a new person. I am a new person. <sighs> things are just not working out. I have a few more things that you could do, so if you know me, you know that I like writing things down in a little book that I have. Writing things down in a book that is the best advice I could ever possibly give you. Writing things down in a book helped me overcome so many things. Whenever you are stressed, depressed, angry, anxious, sad, or whatever, write things down in a fucking book. It changes your life because everything that you've been thinking about, if you just put it down onto paper, it's like you forget about it. It's like all your worries now lays on the paper and not in your head. It's amazing. So if you are feeling depressed, anxious, angry, or happy, because you can also write <laughs> happy things because that's the best part. Writing things down. Do it, girls. Do it. It is the best thing you could possibly do for your own health. The next thing you could do that also helped me was finding my passion. So my passion is veganism. You all know that. And my passion could also be YouTube. So veganism and YouTube. Find your own little passion and live your life after your passion. Also, changed my life. Amazing. I love it. Live your passion. So, how do you find your own passion? Well, go out of your freaking comfort zone, please. <laughs> this is a hard thing to do because everyone likes to be comfortable. Why the fuck? Okay. Everyone likes to feel safe. But, feeling safe is so fucking boring. So, please, go out of your comfort zone. Do things you never thought you would do. And you will find things that inspire you, make you happy, and you will find your passion. So, your passion could be a sport, a hobby, a way of life, like a thinking. So maybe if you love the universe and like space and stars, that could be your passion. You could be like super interested and look into all this about space, you know, that could be a passion. I like that. You know, doing YouTube could be your passion. And 
doing YouTube just because you want to find your passion, I would watch the shit out of that. Like, imagine a YouTube channel where a person tries out different things and then talks about them because they want to find their passion. That's a great project. I feel like the people are depressed because they don't feel like they fit in or like I don't I don't know but what I have gotten from it is that people are often depressed because they don't feel like they have a purpose or that's why they are depressed I don't know so you know don't hate on me if I'm wrong but that's just what I have gotten from it so like not having a purpose and not feeling like you're enough or fitting in you know so I feel like if you are depressed or if you feel someone who is depressed or if you don't want to be depressed I feel like finding your passion could be the key to being happy. You will always be happy if you always surround yourself with people that you love and people that feel great. Hey, what's up girls? Girl? <laughs> check your weather with me. Check. Check your weather with me. Check the weather. Yeah, check your... check the weather. Si me da, si come te doy. If none of this made any sense whatsoever, I'm sorry, I just feel so weird today. I just feel like I can't talk and uh, I feel like I can't talk. Can I ever? No. Okay, so I'm basically done now. So what I want you to do, if, you, if you've been watching for this long, I mean, I'm impressed if you have, if you can tolerate me. Okay, if you've been watching for this long, hi, comment hashtag love life. And also, comment what more subjects you want me to talk about. And I could also explain this concept a little bit more. So I want to post more on this YouTube channel because I feel like it's my passion. I want to I wanna talk to you more. I also want to be more personal with you because there are so many YouTubers who you know nothing about. Like literally nothing. So I'm not one of those. I want to be your friend, your bestie. So that's why I'm doing this. So I want you to comment more subjects that you want me to talk about or what you, something that you want me to talk about. Maybe you want to hear my opinion on something. I can't talk today. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> But let me know down below in the comments, please. I love you for it. I will love you forever. Be a cool gal. Comment. And I'll see you next time. I'm gonna be wearing this cute little thing today. Ah, I feel like Blair Waldorf. I love my life. I'll see you next time. Bye. And also, girls, if you saw anything different about me today, don't comment. I know it's there, so I don't... I mean, I know it's there. You don't have to. You don't have to let me know. I know it's there.